Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're using Pinterest for business. In our previous videos we set up a Pinterest account and we've uh, navigated Pinterest a little bit and interacted with some content. So here I am back at my home screen and another way that we could uh, use Pinterest is up on the search bar here. I'm going to type in chocolate chip and notice as you start typing you might get suggestions. It suggests chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cookies from scratch, chocolate chip muffins, chocolate chip, chocolate chip recipe. Hmm, I'm interested in some new recipes, so that's what I will select here. Chocolate chip recipe. And this is going to show me content that has been um, marked or tagged with... Um, with those keywords. So explore your options. Scroll through this guide and click any that look interesting to steer your search in the right direction. Have something else in mind? Type in your own search to find just the thing you're after. So Pinterest has made it very cool to really find what you're looking for. I was looking for chocolate chip cookie recipe and of course it's going to give me lots and lots and lots of results but then I can fine-tune the results here notice easy best chewy single oatmeal etc let's say I'm looking for some paleo recipes of chocolate chip cookies oops not soft well you can close that out and then paleo there we go so this content appears here, low carb and paleo chocolate chip cookies, paleo chocolate chip cookies, 65 best recipes, etc. It all looks great, but I'm going to say uh, based on what I see, just this uh, screen full here, this particular one has 134 pins, this one has 644, 97, 149, and 83, and 53. So based on that, I can decide to interact with a, with a pin. Uh, so I'm going to go with this one that's got a lot. Uh, 1,334 pins. I'm going to hover over and say, I also want to like that and pin it. And this is going to go over to my paleo board, which I made in a previous, in a previous, um, video and I can change the description or add to it so what I'll do is I'll say uh, looks so tasty VM Campos should see this and by adding that, I can um, mention other accounts, at and the account name, pin it. So I see this particular one has eight comments, so I'm going to click on that to view it in full. 857 pins, 132 likes, and then comments. So what I can do is then um, add myself to this conversation. And as I start to at type a person's name, I should get. Uh, I should get them. Uh, I should give them a notification if I'm uh, following them. Um, and this creates the interactivity that is so important on a social network. And again, sorry about that, I forgot I need to um, confirm my email address and then I'll be able to fully comment. Okay, so um, that was looking at search at the top. 
I'm going to cancel out the whole search to start from scratch here. And what I could also do is take a look at this Discover button. Here's another way to discover content. Click there, and then I can look at, well, anything related to... food and drink. So this is the latest stuff that's happening related to food and drink, and then I can of course um, um, narrow it down because this is going to be about, all about food and drink. Such so as this salsa here, that's not, uh, salsa wouldn't go very good on uh, any of our baked goods. Um, Unique candy gifts for mom. That would work. Chocolate truffle pumpkin muffin. That one's good. Um, in its new content, there isn't any interaction yet, so I can click on it. Look at it. And say that... I'm going to pin it, and where would this go? I will put it under a new board called the Decadence. And now it's part of my, my board. If I go back to my profile over here, um, this is what I've got currently set up as my profile. So it's pretty straightforward so far. Come back on our next video and we'll look at more aspects of Pinterest.